Hello guys, welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the installation of the extensions available in Chrome browser in order to identify the web elements like XPath and the CSS selector. So by default, your Chrome browser already has the capability to identify the web elements and then interact with those web elements and to use that you simply right click and inspect the web element that you want to identify but if you want to use the add-ons i'll explain you what all add-ons are available and how you can use it so in order to install the add-ons or extensions just in your chrome browser uh, click on the ellipses in the right hand side and go to the uh, more tools and go to the extensions now in the extensions, Chrome extensions, go to your extensions and go to open Chrome Web Store. And from the Chrome Web Store, you'll be able to find out the extensions for XPath. So if I say XPath and search, then you will see CrowPath is the famous one, um, very popular one that we'll use in this tutorial. So I'll click on add in Chrome and click on add extension so it will automatically check all the details and you'll see in the right hand side corner crow path has been added as an extension in your Chrome browser and you can use crow path to figure out the path for the web elements in your web application then there are others as well like XPath Helper, Helper Ruto, XPath Finder. There are many uh, others available. The other one is um, the Eskri. So you can simply type in Eskri and search Eskri. And that's also free add-on that helps to identify the elements. If I click on the details here, you can see the overview. And you will find the details about what all it will support so it will um, help you to choose XPath CSS selector which is very much required say for example you are uh, interacting with the web elements where there is no unique identifier for ID or name or link text partial link text then you have to come back to the CSS selector in XPath and you have to generate your own XPath and CSS selector. And that's where these tools or these add-ons will be really, really helpful for you. So I'll add Eskri to the Chrome as well. And we'll demo these to CrowPath and Eskri when we are moving to identifying the CSS selector and XPath for in the robot framework tutorial. So now you can see Eskri has been added as well. So let's go back. I'll what I'll do is I'll close the browsers. So we'll just need to restart. So we'll close Chrome. And once you have closed, open the browser again. And once you have restarted your browser, you'll you are good to go to use Eskri and Chropath. So if I go to eBay.com again right and I just right click and inspect on this text box here now you can see Eskri is available in the developer console here in the right hand side and your crow path will be visible here if you click on these arrows here right you'll see crow path is available here if I click on crow path it will open the console for crow, crow path when you can select the relative XPath, absolute XPath, and CSS selector. So I'll be covering the CrowPath and Eskri uh, XPath and CSS tutorial or the details of uh, finding CSS selector and XPath in detail because in most of the cases, like 70 to 80% of the web application, you will be able to figure out the XPath and CSS selector using these tools automatically and that will work in almost 70 to 80 percent of the time but there are like 20 percent scenarios wherein you have the dynamic xpath or dynamic uh, web elements for which you need to figure out the xpath and css selector in order to handle those dynamic web element 
and that's where i'll use these tools and in case these tools are not able to provide the unique element web element will go ahead and start with the manual um, creating rx path and css selector manually so i'll cover all those details in this tutorial seri series so that you are good to go with the web application testing and you do not get stuck with the finding web elements for your web application now here in the crow path if you see uh, as soon as i right clicked on any of the elements say for example this search text box or say the second one all categories and i'll say inspect you'll see this got highlighted with green dotted lines and here in the selectors you can see all three selectors got selected right so it will give you how many elements are matching with this particular selector you can either select absolute xpath relative xpath or css selector we'll get into a lot more detail with these selectors when we go into xpath and css selector for scree if you go to the scree section here um, the link and then you can select the locator type whatever you're looking for say xpath or css selector let me choose xpath and click on this little icon here uh, it turns green and then you can hover your mouse to any of the web element for example this text box or all categories click on it and it will identify that particular web element and if you click on test it will highlight the element that has been um, that has been selected and you can see the count here so that means this xpath is unique for this particular web element so we'll cover the all these details when we get into the details of using these add-ons and for xpath and css selectors in upcoming tutorial so that's pretty much all about installing these uh, add-ons for finding xpath and css selector hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching